Hey guys, Sunny back with another video, and today I will be showing you how to fix your iPhone 6 or iPhone 6 Plus, iPhone 6S, or iPhone 6S Plus. Um, the issue is, is the battery, okay? Now, if your battery is dying from 50%, so if you have 50% battery left on your phone, it just dies, then that's an issue, right? So I'll be showing you how to fix that, and you just need to recalibrate the battery, which means you need to, um, how do I put it to you guys? You need to let the battery rest for a while and um, let it fix its things by itself, but you need to help it fix its internals by itself, if you know what I mean. But that's basically it, how you do fix it, and I will show you exactly all the steps. This happened to my iPhone 6 right now, um, and it has been happening for the last week, and I started getting worried. I was like, I think I'm going to have to restore my device, but I didn't, and I found this out myself. So what you need to do is you need to use your iPhone until it dies completely. Now, just letting you know, guys, that this video is just going to be sitting on my home screen because I don't know what else to do. Um, but you need to you you need to use your iPhone until it shuts off automatically. Um, when it dies, just leave it like that, and then just let your phone, your iPhone six, six S, six S Plus, or six Plus, just let it sit overnight to drain the battery further. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, maybe this is not going to work. This will probably, um, I'm going to say 98% will work because I've helped a bunch of my friends out with this issue and it did work. So you need to let it sit overnight to drain the battery further, like for about 6-7 hours. And then in the morning, you need to plug in your iPhone and wait for it to power up. So after it's powered up, you want to just log into it, put in your password, and then touch ID and all of that. And then you just want to hold the sleep and, actually not and, the sleep slash wake button and slide to power off while the charger is plugged in. This is important. Keep your charger plugged in. Otherwise, this will not work. The battery will not recalculate and recalibrate uh, itself. You need to leave the charger plugged in. With the car, the, with the charging cable still connected, just uh, slide to power off. And then after, I don't know, about five hours until it's fully charged, you want to. There's no way you could really tell that it's fully charged. I let mine sit through five hours um, while I was at school, so it could actually recalibrate and do everything properly. So with the charging cable still connected, you want to press the sleep slash wake button for about a second to start up your phone. The Apple logo will pop up and just wait for it to turn on. So when the iPhone is booted up, keep the charging cable still plugged in, hold the sleep slash wake button, and the home button at the same time for about 10 seconds. Just keep holding it until your phone shuts off and puts up your Apple logo again. So again, that is hold the sleep slash wake and home buttons together simultaneously and wait for it to black out your device and uh, come into the Apple logo. After that happens, just wait for your iPhone to boot up, make sure it's at 100%, and then you can remove the charging cable. Now, this is the way to recalibrate your battery and make it uh, work again properly. Like, uh, there was something in the software that was really buggy and it uh, caused the indicator not to show correctly and show the wrong percentage. Now, hopefully I hopefully this worked for you guys. If it didn't, leave a comment below because I want to know uh, your issues and I want to see how I can fix this. And I could put up another video if this does not help you. Um, 
but this did work for me, and um, now my phone's not dying at 50%. I'm not going to jinx it, knock on wood, but it hasn't been happening yet so far, and I believe that this did fix this issue that I was having. And uh, that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I know I haven't uploaded recently uh, it's because I had a lot of tests and everything, and it was just so hectic, hectic that it just went to the point where I really didn't have time to upload as much. So I'm sorry about that. Um, hopefully this does make up for the videos I haven't been uploading. I try to upload videos every week, like once one video or two videos each week. Um, so that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope it helped. If it didn't, leave a comment below, leave a like, tell your friends to subscribe, and subscribe yourself, please, to help this build this channel. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next time.